back to Simple Things Done Right. I'm Harry and today we'll be doing something a little bit different. Today we're doing a beer review as well as looking at some world news to see what's been happening over the last week or so. So I'd like you all to join me. Today I'm drinking a Kirboon. A Kirboon is one of the classical Examples of Belgium style beer coon is a che cherry beer made by blending different aged lambic and aging them again over whole cherries. The result is a very tart but slightly sweet beer with a deep rich cherry flavour and a light fizzing finish. Okay, it sounds interesting. So I'm just going to crack it open, pour it into a glass and we'll give it a try. Now, I've never done one of these reviews before, as you know, so this is a first, so it might not go to plan, but I have got some cracking news stories for you today. And straight off the bat, I can smell the cherries. So there it is guys, a nice deep red colour, very strong in a cherry flavour, almost reminds me of a red wine smell. Wow, smells a bit like a red wine but tastes nothing like a red wine. It's not a strong alcohol, it's only 4%. I purchased it off Beerwolf, which is a UK beer subscription. Um, I believe it was £2.70 if I remember correctly. Let's get on to the world news. First, from Australia, we have a kangaroo that stops play during Australian women's soccer match. The Australian soccer team competing at the World Cup is called Socceroonies, but a different kind of Socceroo has dominated the pitch half for half an hour at Cranberta during a women's match. The misguided marsupial made its first appearance at the stadium soccer field during the half-time break on Sunday afternoon. Players and officials try to drive the unexpected pitch invader by kicking away by kicking balls at him with little impact. Okay, so that's something you don't hear every day, a kangaroo invading a football match. Usually it's local hooligans or people who's had one too many beers. Well, I have to say a marsupial invading a football match is a new one on me. Next in the news we have Man Trolls Fuss Festival by selling hot dog water for thirty pound and makes people act and people actually brought it. Okay. That just sounds wrong and slightly weird. Hot Dog Water CEO Douglas Bevans set up a booth at the Car Free Day Festival and started selling bottles of unfiltered hot dog water for $38, just under £30. Yep, you read it right, hot dog water, the water that has been used to cook hot dogs in. The unusual beverage had a great selling point as Douglas claimed it would help people lose weight, make you look younger and increase brain function. Okay, so hot dog water. I'd like to know if any of you would ever give that a try. Because to me it just sounds like a really random concoction that I can't see tasting very nice. 
But I may be wrong. There may be someone out there that's tried this. If there is, let them know. Let me know and let me know if I'm wrong. Does it taste good? There's many things that could be said about it. I don't know. That's why I'm asking for your opinions, guys. Next is a little short story on the US about President Trump. US state states sue Trump administration over migrants. 17 US states are taking legal action against the Trump administration for its cruel and unusual separation of migrant children from the migrant children. Vice President Mike Pence warned families are not to risk their lives of young children by coming to the USA. So yeah, it sounds like the Trump administration's not doing too well at the moment. But it's such a shame to see that they're separating young families and families are willing to do that just to get into the USA, United States. It's just terrible to hear and terrible to read. It's something that I don't think you'd see in most happening in most countries. And final bit of news is about vaping today. E-cigarettes, most effective smoking stopping aid. A recent study, a recent study published in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health looked at a government data from 2013 and 2014 and found e-cigarettes were, were one of the most commonly used stopping tools by American smokers and the most successful. So what is this telling us guys? Well it's telling us that as the UK have known for the last couple of years now that e-cigarettes are a healthier and safer alternative to standard cigarettes and that they are also a better alternative than going cold turkey or stuff like that which is now why the UK government are pushing doctors to push e-cigarettes to people who's wanting to quit for the pure reason that it works so that's a good on the plus side now if you've liked what you saw can you leave me a thumbs up if there's anything you'd like to see in the future leave a comment down below Thank you.